Welcome to BeerStars from BeerStars Brewhouse. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate a PS meter like this. When brewing beer, it's really important that you uh, know that your equipment is accurate and you maintain it properly. Um, and that, that's regarding temperature and, and, and yeah, gravities and stuff like that. And especially your PS meter. These are highly sensitive um, and should be calibrated at least once a month. Um, but I calibrate mine every time I use it because it's uh, so simple. With this pH meter from Kegland, anyway, it's really, really simple. I really recommend this um, pH meter because it has automatic temperature calibration. So you can measure at any temperature. And it has a smart calibration function as well. That's, I think it's just genius. When you buy it, there's this uh, buffer uh, power solution um, that you have to make. Um, yeah, you can see right here how I've made it. So the way that I make this uh, calibration solution um, is that I take this uh, pH buffer powder and put it into 250 milliliters of deionized water. So um, I just weighed it out, um, one milliliter is one gram. And then just put the powder in here. And stir it until it's fully dissolved. And uh, when it's fully dissolved, I put it, put it into these glasses. I call this my calibration glass, so I write on here what, what's in there. And this is the backup. This can hold forever. So uh, yeah, so I probably don't need to buy more of these for the next few years. And basically that's it. And when it's mixed, you can use it for a very long time. So when I have to calibrate, all I do is turn on the pH meter, remove the cap, put it in solution, stir just a little bit, and let it rest until it's stable. When it's stable, I press calibrate button for three seconds. It will show the actual uh, value that it measured and recognize the pH value of the solution and calibrate after that. And then it says end and then you're done. So yeah, it's really, really simple and that's why I do it every time I I'm have, I have to use it. Yeah. So that was it. If you want to know how I measure my pH, you can see a video over here. Remember to subscribe to the channel, that would make me very happy. And then just have a happy brewing out there.